For this video, we're going to be looking at the number tools. So there's lots of different ways Excel can um, format numbers. So let's start with a, with a couple numbers here. We'll start with a fraction. We'll start with a larger number. We'll start with maybe just a very simple number. So let's start with these three. So let's first see what happens when we um, use some of the shortcut keys here. So let's see what happens when we hit the dollar sign. So it just formats it and it gives, what it does is it rounds it to two places and it puts a dollar sign in front. So it's just like if you have a currency or some sort of dollars. So you could also do it for the euro or for other, um, other currencies. Okay. So now let's go ahead and um, just go back to the general number format for all of these. Okay, so now let's look at what happens when we do percentage. So I want you to pay close attention to what happens when we what what happens when we do the 0.5. So 0.5 is 50%. So whenever you convert a decimal and you hit that percentage number, it's actually just displaying the value of 0.5 as a percentage. So if you typed in 0.75 and did that, it would give you 75%. But the weird part, though, is now, though, if I type in 0.5 in the top, it's going to stay at actually 0.5%. It's actually rounding in this case. So that actually brings us to our rounding um, number here. So we can either increase the decimal or decrease the decimal here to show more places in the Excel spreadsheet. So that, that's what was going on there. It was decreased, so it was rounding up to 1%. So again, decimals and percentages are a little bit weird, so you have to make sure you keep track of that. So let's go ahead and turn it back to general. And you can see when we went back to general, now this is 0.5% goes back to 0 0.005, not to our original 0.5. Okay, so now let's look at what this comma means. All the comma does is it gives you a thousand separator and it also rounds to two decimal points so that's what that comma style does alright great so let's go ahead and back to general now those are sort of the shortcut keys Then there's even more um, things that you can you can do in here so um, we can just format as a regular number so that's what that is currency we did accounting we we did a little bit um, We'll go over short date, long date, and time in a second. We already did percentage. You can also do fraction, so um, you can you can you know do some things with that. Um, you can do scientific notation, which is always really nice. So let's go ahead and do um, some dates. So let's let's type in a couple different dates. So let's type in just the first of the year. We can type in also um, and let's type in one last date as um, okay so let's see what so Excel what's nice about it, sometimes nice about Excel is it recognizes this as a date and it already formatted it for me as a date but we can make it so it displays all the dates the same way. We can also make it so um, it displays long dates. So you can see that. And then the other thing we can do is make it display as a time. So time, the dates will display as time. It just won't um, give you some things. So, so dates are something you're, you're going to get really familiar with, um, especially in the energy programs here. So let's look a little bit more about what dates date selections we have. So again, what I did is I clicked on this tiny little box at the bottom right of the number thing. And so there's lots of different dates we can we can do. We can even put the time in with the date, which is something that I like to do because when we're looking at utility data or something in the energy field, um, a lot of times that's what we need. So dates are really, really important and it's something that we really want to um, be able to see here. Okay, I want to cover one other thing um, with this. So let's say we have a, um, a relatively large number here. And then let's say for some reason we make the column smaller. You see these little numbers here? All that means is that 
the column is not wide enough to display that number. So Excel automatically truncates it by putting just these number symbols there. So you might see this sometimes, and you might even when you copy or paste or do something like that. When you make it wider, it actually the number appears. So don't be thrown off when the number symbols appear like this. Make sure you just make the column a little wider. And um, so you know you can see that that happens with the dates as well. So it's just something you want to you want to keep in mind for that. So that is the number tab. It's a very basic overview. The other the other one other thing we could do is special or custom. Um, you can do a lot of different things with this, and we'll go over that as we need to. Thanks for watching.